Hey guys and welcome back to season 20 of AOR. This time it's actually round 20. If only we were still racing in 2020, then it would have been perfect. But as you can see, we are in Mexico. Um, well, and as you can see on the right, down in P9, not the best track uh, for me at all. I'm like, we're only 12 drivers, so I'm actually sort of banking and qualifying P11. Because that would, you know, be nice with some fresh tires. And you always know that someone's going to crash out the start, so it probably won't mean that much but as you can see right now very slow slow time improving quite a lot actually here in the first sector to show especially look at this corner like almost one one tenth so there's a lot on the table i think yeah 16 free is what i've done basically needed to chop off two and a half seconds if i was on pole so just shows how far i am of the pace of this of this rate at, at mexico unfortunately going through the ssc a very difficult like to get right uh, and then this last sector just I don't really like it, it's, just, it's almost like it's too slow for a Formula 1 car, a lot like uh, some sectors in Monaco, as you can see, just a very big steering input, because I missed it completely, and now we're going to come across on the straight, and luckily, I think, I don't even think I'm going to improve, like, closest wise <laughs> no, indeed, I'm still P10, but I think in the race, I started P11, uh, luckily, so, so that's a quite a good starting point for the race. Here we are on the grid, yes indeed in P11, luckily on the left side, I always prefer the outside here because you never know what happens on the inside. So we get a decent start actually, a little bit of wheel spin there in the higher gears, then up into Rich Mix and ERS trying to... Ooh, we nearly got absolutely smashed there. Reminds me of I think, what was it, x Medici in the YouTuber Championship way back, but uh, that's a reference for you if you catch it. Um, but that was very, very close to me being completely finished. As someone has up ahead, that's Enric and uh, Isaac, I think, who got turned around and then I like, swooped in around a few people. And now we're up into P7. A lot like last week's start, actually, it's, except it isn't raining this time, unfortunately, because that actually helped me as Bippin, I think, is disconnected up ahead. So obviously I'm host, so I'll have to pop an invite to him soon. But we're up here behind Jan in P7. Don't think I can keep that. And now we cut on. So lap 2, I'm still in P7, but Jack, who, for some reason, I don't actually know why he retired in qualifying, maybe a crest or something, so he started last, but obviously he is way too fast to be down here, so he's through easily, um, as I just, you know, there isn't really much I can do, he's gonna pass anyway with that pace, and now we caught on to lap 5, and I've actually, as you can see, unfortunately lost a little bit of ground to the to giant ahead, if you look at the minimap, but I've caught Bibbin, I'm gonna pass him soon, and as I like came up to him, he disconnected. Oh, so I had a big moment there, so now I'm gonna have to invite him back. Um, but now we cut on to lap 10. Unfortunately, I had a little bit of a, a moment or two, uh, which means that actually uh, I fell back a little bit, and people have pitted, uh, so they're actually unlapping themselves right now. We've got Toro, Jack, I'm just gonna slow down here. So, lap through. Oh, and Jack's actually hit me and hit me into the wall there, and he's. Uh, spawn so I was have to go in the pits now that's why I actually slowed down was to let them through on the state straight so I didn't have to come across them going into the pits but that turned out very bad for both me and Jack so I apologize for that luckily Toro made it out like alive but now we're gonna have to obviously I've fallen behind a little bit and now obviously lap 13 Jack got even worse but his pace is so much better so now he's obviously through I'm gonna you know try to fight it a little bit you know the best that I could but as you can see, there's just not much you can do when you're up against someone with superior pace. And he got the DRS, which is a little bit annoying with Mexico, the way that the DRS works. So it just, you know, confirms the uh, the overtake there. Nothing I can do, really. And now we caught on to lap 22, just been driving around. P11, not much happening, actually. A little bit bored, to be honest. And I get on the curb, boof, into the wall, and I'm out. Such a weird... Weird crash. I actually have more pace now looking back on it than I fought in a race. In a race I was baffled, that's why I um I DNF, but now I look at it I can see yeah I didn't actually break that much, but it was just the race was so boring and I wasn't like last or probably would have gotten points uh, knowing what happened. Um which was that actually I caused a safety car. Uh which meant obviously everything got put together as you can see Enric legendary moves got like look did he get 55 seconds of penalties i think he did or is it me who looking no 35 sorry 55 that'd be mad but he actually got disqualified for getting too many penalties and obviously phone disconnected uh no all those dnfs except me so i wouldn't have got points if i had stayed in the race but then again i caused a safety car which meant that giant ended up winning so 
That that's very nice. I think he won by like you can see Bixie he's plus five seconds, which he's gonna get removed right after Giant. So Giant won by those like uh, 75 tenths there. Oh, that was a voice crack and a half. Um, and then, but he's gonna get that move. So Bibin is probably gonna gut off the podium, unfortunately. But I mean, Isaac with a podium as well. That's pretty impressive. Uh, so it's actually ended up quite, quite an interesting grid now uh, that everything happened. And Jack's all the way down there in P5. Obviously, I had something to do with that. But um, I do. I do. What is it next time? I think it's Brazil or something next time, but I won't actually be able to race, unfortunately, so I won't be back until Brazil. Um, but obviously, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment, subscribe, anything, it's really appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time.